At almost 50, Jeffrey Barovtsi has started a whole new life. Jekka, as she is known, is a person of short stature. She's one meter 40 tall. I've been working here for one year and four months. I feel very comfortable working here. This job has made me feel appreciated, and I have a great time with my colleagues. We're free, we communicate and help each other, which means we're very close. The factory, Frisia, produces kitchen and toilet paper and cardboard boxes. One day, 30 people will be employed here. We're still a new company, and our aim is to become profitable as soon as possible. But we won't keep the profits. All our proceeds will be donated to people with disabilities. Jeka and her sister Nafia travel back to their home village as often as they can. As a person with disabilities, living in Kosovo is very difficult. It's a country where nothing is as it should be. It's so difficult, you can hardly imagine. <laughs> Their brothers Rafet and Islam have the same disability. Islam is bedridden and suffers from depression. He's okay with being filmed, but that's all. Nobody supports you. You're on your own. No help from the state, the people, or anyone. Rafet and Islam face discrimination even within their own family. Their three other siblings avoid them. Without Jekka and Nafia's support, the two brothers would be lost. Islam and I each receive a 100 euro disability benefit. Electricity costs 20 euros a month, water 10, waste disposal 5. I have to pay 15 euros for the television license. That's 50 euros altogether. For Islam, I need to buy medication costing 50 euros. That's 100 euros in total. How are we supposed to live on that? But finding a job is impossible. After all, Rafet looks after his brother around the clock. Jeka also struggled to find work until she was hired by Frisia. Financed by the Golden Eagle Foundation, Frisia strives to uphold their workers' dignity. We've received no support from the state or any institution so far. We covered all costs with funds provided by the Golden Eagle Foundation, all of them. The construction of the plant, employing workers, and everything else that's needed for the factory. Large Kosovo companies are legally required to employ people with disabilities, but the law isn't worth the paper it's written on, say disability associations. There have been cases where companies or institutions even paid money just to avoid hiring people with disabilities. That's why Jekka and Nafia do what they can to help their brothers Rafet and Islam. They cook and stock up supplies to last until their next visit. They're very happy on the three days we visit because they need to discuss their problems and need company. I want to make them happy to have someone here who supports them a little, so they can forget all the pain, at least while I'm here. Thanks to her job, Jekka can now stand on her own two feet. Entering the factory grounds, she says, is always an amazing feeling.